Well, welcome to Upgrade with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave. Today we're going to test the power consumption of this toaster oven. And today we're going to be using it to make this pizza. So let's get started. First we got to zero out the meter. We'll hit the reset button. It says reset. So now we're clear. Let's turn on the toaster oven. We'll set the temperature to 425. We'll just set the time to 30 minutes, make sure we have enough time. We'll let it preheat. Once it's preheated, we'll come back, we'll put the pizza in. So let's see what's happening during the preheat. It's 100, just below 110 volts. So you can tell it's a pretty big load on on the trailer. So it drew the voltage from 114 down to 109. Thirteen eighty one VA, thirteen seventy nine watts. Which is twelve point six amps. Okay, the preheat is complete. Let's put the pizza in the oven. Come back in a few minutes to see how much power we're using. So during the cook cycle you can see the wattage is 1377 and you can see it drop occasionally trying to maintain the temperature. It drops for a short period of time but not for very long. So this one's gonna use quite a bit of kilowatts. We'll see what we get at the end. And look at that pizza. minutes in so far for cooking the pizza and it's starting to get dark pretty quick so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit turn down to 400 degrees so it's been 17 minutes pizza's done let's turn it off and let's check the meter so let's see what the meter says we used nine cents if I was cooking it in the house 20 cents is our rate 0.45 kilowatt hours or 450 watt hours. Total lapse time was 27 minutes. So in summary, this new wave air fryer said so it's an 1800 watt unit based on the label on the back. During this test, we only measured 1500 watts to cook the pizza. It was heating the bottom elements and the upper elements. Uh, maybe there's another setting on here that would allow it to consume more power. But for the 16 minutes that we cooked, plus five or maybe 10 minutes for preheat, um, this used 450 watt hours of power, which is quite a bit of power, um, but that's expected. It's a large unit. And for us in the trailer, we have plenty of power, but other people might not be able to use these appliances. Uh, if it's a sunny day and we're fully charged, we can cook with the air fryer. Uh, if it's been cloudy for a couple days, we might want to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So if you like these Wattage Wednesday videos, make sure you click the subscribe button up here and then click the bell to get notifications and then click on this link here to watch another video. Have a good day.